All right, we back, we back. Peace, peace, peace. This is your hip-hop sales coach, Tiger Toledo. And you already know what it is, man. You rock with the best. You heard? So today is Sunday Q&A. We are experiencing some technical, some technical difficulties, but we back. So please share this video. Invite your friends. Do what you do. Let's rock and roll. Let's see how we can get this popping. So we got to talk a little bit about a, a little about a sales, a little bit about a sales, a little bit about marketing, and I want to share a little bit about um, a method that I I use, which is I call it the Tiger Method, right? Uh, give me a few seconds here. I want a couple of people to pile in the room. But while we're waiting on that, you guys could tell me how you guys are doing, right? Tell me what you guys are up to. If you have any questions, now is the time. Now is the time. And peace to all the people out there in uh, Texas, too. This, there was a mass killing, 27 People were, I believe, shot or killed in Texas. You know, it's holiday season, man. This shit is getting crazy out here. You had Vegas, the Vegas shooting, right? Now you got this Texas shooting and people walling out right now, man. People are seriously walling out. So sh my heart goes out to Texas. Because I was actually, me and the family was looking to relocate to Texas, too. Um, so it, it's unfortunate what's going on out there right now. What up, Derek? Just want to invite some of my peoples. You know, I'm as you guys can see, I'm plugging in these guys back here. But, you know, it is what it is. Getting some, uh, getting this grind on, man. Just because it's Sunday don't mean that you stop grinding, you know? Just because it's Sunday doesn't mean you stop grinding. This is when people are taking the time out, watch sports. Uh, you know, they do the family time, right? But you can make short strides on the Sunday while your competition is snoozing, right? What's up, Lando? How's it going, brother? Lando has a um, a limo business. So if you guys are looking for, you know, some of those charter limos, like, definitely give him a call. I'm giving shout-outs today. Um, Lando Daggins, if you guys are looking for those chartered limos, he's definitely the guy to reach out to. He's working out of the Illinois area. What's up, Tiran? Uh, Tiran doing big things. Uh, Lamar Tallow, we bragging about you, brother. Um, we got Tracy Sawyer. Tracy Sawyer Solutions is out here. If you guys are looking for a job, reach out to Tracy Sawyer. Tracy Sawyer is providing jobs. Uh, Tracy, tell us a little bit about... Um, some of the places you're looking for put it in the comment section because i know you're looking for people in greencastle illinois i mean indiana kansas kentucky mexico so she got a lot of job opportunities available reach out to her uh we got j hit music that's jerome what's up brother he has phenomenal studio we've done work with him before and we uh he is a preferred partner for the gully Wear system so uh jerome has uh photography right he does photography he does um music voiceovers commercials websites animation so if you guys are looking for that reach out to jerome and hit music He's a solid brother. So these are people that we do business with. And I'm only shouting out the cats that 
we do business with. Derek also has a uh, closing line, which is called the Black Alpha. If I want to, you know, we're we're gonna do a round table because I want to make sure that you guys get the proper shout outs. So share this with your friends, share it with your family. Let's talk a little bit about sales and marketing. Let's see how we can get it popping, people. Right? Let's see how we can get it going. So, as the holidays, okay, so Tracy Sawyer just said that she is hiring for Greencastle, Indiana, Chicago, Illinois, Portage, Indiana, Kentucky, Peru, Illinois, um, in Kansas City, Liberty, Missouri, and a lot more. So if you guys are living in that area or you know family and friends that are looking for jobs in that area, reach out to Tracy Sawyer on that. Um, I got my cousin. Love you, cousin. On my grind is on. He just joined us. So I appreciate you guys joining us today. We got to get it popping. Happy Sunday. So I'd like to know if you guys are experiencing any challenges in your uh, in your business for this marketing and your sales part of it. Because see, here's the thing. Once you know how to market and you know how to sell, it don't matter what business that you're in. You can start. You can immediately start making money in that business if you can hone in on your marketing and your sales side of it right if you guys haven't noticed lately on my page I've been posting up a lot of different businesses the reason why I've been doing that is because I have captured a certain type of formula right and the formula is basically this I call it the tiger method what's up uh, G nut <laughs> G nut is here hey G nut Dude, what are you doing now, man? You're acting now, aren't you? G Nut is acting, man. Me and G Nut worked on a the Waka Flocka uh, music video shoot, which is which was um, done in Chicago, and it was for the video "Snakes in the Grass." He had G Nut TV. Shout out to you, man. I think you on all kind of show. He's on Chicago. Um, what is that? Chicago PD or something like that. So he's doing big things. He's doing a lot of uh, photography work and stuff like that, too. So shout out to him. Um, but getting to it, right, I call it the tiger method. And I'll kind of break that down to you guys. And you guys could use this method in any business that you want. So the first thing, the letter T, right, is test. Test, test, test. You want to test your your method, your launch. After you do a launch, right? Let's just say you're uh, releasing, let's just say, one of their pumpkin spice lattes or whatever like that, right? They're going to test the market. What up, Arnold? Uh, they're going to test the market to see if they get a good response. For instance, McDonald's will test the McRib. They'll test certain, they'll release the McRib on certain days, certain months, certain times to see how well that product sells through, right? So you want to test and test to test your product to see if it has a very strong sell through, if people are even interested in buying your product at all. Because what's the use of creating a business around a product that doesn't sell? Nobody wants it. So you want to test it, test it, test it right the I is for investigate right so now you want to investigate to see what's working and what's not working this is when you kind of like look at some analytics you go over a couple of things to see if you're optimizing your tests right because you might you might realize that a certain headline works and then other headlines don't work. So now you're investigating to see what works. Maybe it's a certain picture. Maybe people are responding more to a video than a picture. You know what I mean? Um, 
So you want to investigate to see what is working, what isn't working. Then after you do the investigate, we'll move to the letter G, right? The letter G would be gather. This is where you gather up information. You're gathering up as much information as you possibly can from your investigation. So now you know that videos work better than pictures, right? Then you know this headline is working better than a different headline, right? Then you might look and see, um, you know, maybe a certain website or a certain color scheme works better than others. Now you're gathering up all of this information and you're building the system. I'm, I'm showing you guys how you're building the system when it comes to sales and marketing, right? Then we'll move into the E. Now the E is multiple things, right? The E can go into eliminate, right? Now you start eliminating the junk, the stuff that is irrelevant, right? Um, the stuff that you do not need, the stuff that has, it's, it's not bringing in any numbers, it's not helping out the brand at all. Um, certain type of wording, certain type of pictures, certain type of videos, it's not working for you at all. So you begin to eliminate the stuff so when it's time for you to roll out a different product, you already tested it. You already knew how to test it. You already know how to investigate it. You already gathered up enough information. Now you have eliminated the process and you can cookie cut, take that duplicate it into the next product, right? And then the R would be relaunch relaunch and repeat now you got to relaunch it you got to relaunch that product again now it's been optimized right now you have optimized that launch and you're going to reintroduce it to people and see what kind of response that you get now you're checking to see if you're getting more views checking to see if you're getting more clicks um, and if that is working then you repeat the process. You start to fine tune it, right? Just like a, a violin, you're going to want to, you know, make sure that string a certain note. So you're going to test every note, right? You're going to see, you're going to investigate to see if the strings are working correctly. Then you're going to gather up information from um, whatever that thing is that checks the sound, right? You're going to gather up information, then you're going to eliminate the things that do not work, and then you're going to test it again and relaunch it. That's how you queue up pianos, uh, violins, any type of instrument. So that is the Tiger method, right? The Tiger method. So if you guys have any questions, now is the time. Holla at your boy. Holla at your boy. Um, just in case you guys don't know, like, I know a lot of people are looking to do, um, make graphics and stuff, right? And sometimes it's hard for you to find uh, graphics. You, you want something simple. Every channel has a different size uh, component, right? Facebook, Instagram, you have to fall within a certain size. So sometimes you'll try to upload an image and it looks all fucked up. Um, it's too big. Sometimes it's too small. You can't even see it. So I'm going to send you guys over to Canva.com, right? Canva.com already gives you um, the accurate size for your designs it's very easy to use it's free right and it'll help you with the imagery of your brand it'll help you guys with the imagery of your brand hey Keisha <laughs> tell tell Joe Neal and uh and Shaniqua I said hello Keisha is a, a old friend of mine from Brooklyn you know, we lived in the same building. So shout out to my sister, Keisha. Love you, baby. 
So, yeah, you guys have any questions, shoot some questions over to me, man. Tell me how your Sunday is going. Remember, always be grateful for the things that you do in life, man. That's what's going to get your day started right. Um, let me see here. Yeah, so check out Canva.com. Canva is, is really, really good for, especially if you don't know how to do um, Adobe and stuff like that. Now, it doesn't exclude getting a professional graphic designer. I want you guys to know that. It doesn't exclude you guys from getting a professional graphic designer. Because, but it does help you stay in your customer's face and potential customer's face. You know, because you have that old saying, man, out of sight, out of mind. So if you're not in your customer's face or potential customer's face, somebody like myself would just, you know, come into the territory and then occupy the space that was meant for you. You know what I mean? So don't be out of sight, out of mind. Stay proactive in everything. Uh, hold on, hold on, everybody. Hold on. So if you guys have any questions, definitely shoot them over to me. Like, share this comment, um, this video with your friends and family. Uh, try to invite some people. All right, cool. So let's see what else we got going on. Sales. Remember, holiday sales is right around the corner. Everybody's gearing up. You could go into your local Walmart and see what they're doing over there. <laughs> they, they're getting ready, man. You're going to see some huge boxes, huge boxes for toys. Toys is going to be one of Walmart's biggest sellers. Then, of course, food. So you're going to see them rolling out all kind of trays and pans and everything. All right. Hold on one second. So a lot is going to be happening during the holidays. <laughs> That's funny. Arnold says he's in Walmart right now. <laughs> yeah, bro. So, you know, since you're in there, right, pay attention, man. Pay attention to all of the stuff that you're looking at, right? See how you can incorporate that with your business. Now, Arnold has a car dealership, and Arnold also does rehabbing for homes. So look at the way they're marketing for their holidays and ask yourself, what can you do to market your businesses in that fashion? Because for you to get into Walmart, they have a rigorous screening. They have a very rigorous screening. Not, not everybody could get into Walmart. You know what I mean? So look at how they're advertising. Look at how they're presenting their products. Look at their, the speed bumps that they have going on in there. How can you incorporate that in your business, right? How can you use that to your advantage? How can you make the entry e an easy entry, right, which is, is free for you to walk into a Walmart, but then how do they convert them sales? The person that's going in for a $5 item winds up spending over $50, how are you upselling? How are you downselling? Uh, I'm just pulling up a couple of things here, people. Okay, right, so 
think of a, a low entry barrier. What can you offer your customers for this holiday just to get their name in? Now, too many people are overly concerned about getting the large sale up front. Don't over concern yourself about getting a large sale up front. You make most of your money on the back end, right? So again, I, I kind of explained it to you guys as far as McDonald's is concerned, they really don't make money off of their burgers too much. They're actually almost at a loss. They take a taking a loss with their burgers. Where they make up their money is on the french fries, on the drinks, and then they offer you that apple pie or sweet. So the low entry barrier is like the dollar menu. When they offered you the dollar menu, it was a very low entry barrier for you could just get into the line. They know once you get into that line, then they can offer you, would you like fries with that? That is an upsell. So every time, everything is put together for a reason. They're supposed to ask you, would you like fries with that? Um, would you like a dessert? Would you like two apple pies? We're having a deal with two, two apple pies for a dollar. Would you like a drink with that? Then they finish off and they say, would that, will there be anything else? So they're opening up the conversation for you to ask for some, you know what? As a matter of fact, let me get a filet of fish meal, right? So you asking them, will there be anything else? You could do that online, offline. These are things that you can do right now. And it doesn't cost you anything. Another way to get your business in a way where you're not competing over money all the time, you're going to have to have a better consultation process. In process. Kind of like typing this stuff up as we talk about it. You you don't want your business to strictly be on about price all the time because you'll lose. If your business is strictly about price, there's always going to be somebody that can give offer a lower price than you. So you want to be able to consult them. You want, you want to find out what their pain points are. And again, I'm, I'm typing this up as we speak about it. Pain points. Right? You want to find out what their pain points are. You want to find out what their biggest challenge is. The people that make the most money in business are the ones that run towards the fire okay the ones that run towards the fire not the ones that run away from the fire the ones that run away from the fire are running away from problems the ones that run towards the problems are looking for a solution the more problems that you solve the better you equip yourself and the more benefits you'll be able to notice in those fires so don't run away from the fires. Don't run away from the problems. Don't run away from um, the challenges. Run towards them and see how you can solve them. Will you be able to solve all of them? No. You won't be able to solve all of them. But if you continue over, over time, you're dealing with problems all the time. When a big monumental problem really hits you, it won't seem so big. It'll seem like just a just a speed bump. It'll seem like a, a walk in a park to you because you've been handling problems for so long. You know what I mean? So I hope this helps out to you guys. I hope you guys are be are able to use some of these uh, tips and strategies I dropped with you. If you have any questions, feel free to hit me up. Drop it in the comment section. Um, I'll reach out to you. And um, 
Yeah, man. It's your boy, man. Tiger T, your sales and marketing hitman. Holla at your boy. Peace, love, and happiness to you and your family. One.